Did you know that fixing a mistake can cost up to five times more than preventing it? Understanding the difference between the cost of conformance and cost of nonconformance is critical for businesses that want to succeed in the long run. Let's break this down together. Welcome to Engineeringly. Today, we're diving into a key concept in quality management cost of conformance versus cost of nonconformance. Whether you're a project manager, a business owner, or just curious about how quality impacts cost, this video is for you. First, let's talk about the cost of conformance. This is the money a company spends to make sure their products or services meet quality standards. It includes two key components, prevention costs and appraisal costs. Prevention costs are proactive costs like training employees, designing efficient processes, and maintaining equipment to avoid defects. While appraisal costs involve inspections, audits, and tests to ensure that everything is up to standard before delivery. Imagine a car company investing in advanced equipment and employee training to ensure their cars are built perfectly. That's the cost of conformance. It might seem like a lot upfront, but it's an investment in quality. Now, let's discuss the cost of nonconformance. This is the money spent when things go wrong, when the product or service doesn't meet quality standards. It includes two parts. Number one, internal failure costs, and number two, external failure costs. Internal failure costs refer to defects found before the product is delivered, such as reworks, scrap, or downtime while external failure costs are much worse, like refunds, product recalls, or even lawsuits caused by defects reaching the customer. Think of a phone company that has to recall thousands of units due to a battery defect. Not only does this cost them millions, but it also damages their reputation. Balancing these costs is critical. Spending on prevention might seem expensive upfront, but it's far cheaper than dealing with product recalls or losing customers. In fact, studies show that every dollar spent on prevention can save you five to six dollars in failure costs. So what's the takeaway? Invest in quality upfront. Prevention saves money, protects your brand, and keeps your customers happy. Remember, quality isn't just an expense, it's a strategy. And this brings us to the end of our video today. If you found the contents of this video helpful, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel, following us on Instagram or LinkedIn. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.